Trish Reagan of Fox News decided to branch out from her usual criticism of the left, which is typically just Venezuela. Because what else do they have? When we say we want Medicare for all, they say Venezuela. When we say we want a federal jobs guarantee, they say Venezuela. When we say that nobody should be denied the opportunity to go to college simply because they can't afford it or their parents weren't wealthy, their response is always Venezuela. So, credit where it's due, Trish Reagan decided to actually branch out from the usual argument and hear us out because when they say Venezuela, we always say, no, we're not talking about Venezuela. We're talking about social democracies in Scandinavia, Denmark. That's the type of countries we're talking about. And we really want to implement some of their policies because they're working really well. So she decided to try to prove that we're still wrong, even if she takes us at our word. And she decided to go after one country in Scandinavia in particular, Denmark. And she decided to, you guessed it, compare Denmark to Venezuela and tried to explain to us just how bad it is in Denmark as well. And even if we want to emulate what Denmark is doing, well, it's not really as great as we're all making it out to be there. And she face planted. It was, it was just one of the most ridiculous segments I've ever seen. And there was so much criticism that even a Danish politician decided to make a video rebutting some of her more ridiculous points. And he just obliterated her. I don't know how else to describe it. There's something rotten in Denmark. Fox News host Trish Reagan has made a story in which she compares Denmark to Venezuela. Denmark, like Venezuela, has stripped people of their opportunities. Okay, let's just clarify a few things. Trish, you're wrong. You can't compare Denmark to Venezuela. We have a welfare state in our country. This means that our society provides opportunity for people. It doesn't strip people of possibilities in their life. And no one wants to work. This is a real problem. This is not true. According to the OECD, Denmark rates 11 places higher than the US unemployment rate. The difference, of course, being that in Denmark, people are paid a decent wage. School's free. University's free. That's lovely. Actually, it is. But you see, not only is school free, they actually pay you. Not bad, eh? That is not bad. That means that it's not the size of your parents' bank account that decides whether or not you get an education. It's your hard work. It's your talent. It's your motivation. Well, you know what happens then? Nobody graduates from school. They just stay in school. <sighs> of course, people graduate. According to World Economic Forum, on a list of the best educated populations, we rank number six. Quite a bit better than the US. Sorry. Nowadays, all the kids graduating from school in Denmark, they want to start cupcake cafes. <laughs> I wish that was correct because I love cupcakes. Unfortunately, it's not. It could be, though, because according to Forbes' list, over countries with best opportunities for businesses, Denmark rates far better than the US. So Trish, pretty much everything you said is untrue, or as your beloved president would put it, you are fake news. <laughs> that was fantastic. And understand what her original goal was. She tried to compare Denmark to Venezuela to prove to us that even if we want to be more like Denmark, well, it's still a lot like Venezuela because socialism is never the answer, no matter what. Even a little bit more socialism, even some social democratic policies, it's all bad. But what happened? Well, not only did this politician from Denmark prove that Denmark is not like Venezuela, but he actually demonstrated how Denmark is actually superior to the United States in a multitude of ways. Wow. And he even destroyed a myth about businesses and how Forbes found that businesses in Denmark are actually able to do better than in the United States. So he showed how Denmark is actually even doing better under Fox News' free market standards. And he could have been a lot more brutal. He could have brought up how their healthcare is superior to ours. How low we rank when it comes to healthcare. I think we're, what, 37th? So, <laughs> to say that this backfired would be an understatement because the internet rained down on Trish Reagan after she released this utterly absurd statement. And can you guess what actually happened? Well, surprisingly, she had to come out and issue a clarification explaining, look, 
I really didn't mean to compare Denmark to Venezuela, even though that's exactly what she did. But here's what she had to say in response to the criticism that she received. Okay, to switching to another topic, I do want to clarify my point from a segment last week on socialism. Just to be clear, I was never implying that conditions in Denmark were similar in any way to the current tragedy on the ground there in Venezuela. I was merely pointing out, using reports from The Atlantic, The Independent, and other publications, that socialism is not the way. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'd like to call a flawless victory. And this whole kerfuffle really led me to this epiphany. This is exactly why right-wingers and Fox News hosts have to lie. It's why when we talk about Medicare for All, they bring up Venezuela. Because there's no way that they can actually argue against the merit of our arguments if they take us at our word and say we want to be more like Scandinavia. They have to say Venezuela. Because this is what happens when they tackle our arguments head on. They face plant and everyone rains down on them because they don't have an argument. She pissed off an entire country when she tried to compare Denmark to Venezuela. They just, they can't address our actual arguments, which is why every time we bring up Medicare for all, tuition-free public colleges, and any social safety net oriented program, they have to strum and they have to bring up Venezuela. They have to lie and say, oh, you wanna be just, just like Venezuela. Because they don't have an argument. If they truly are trying to convince us that trying to be more like Denmark is a bad idea, this is what's going to happen. They're going to fall flat on their faces. So this really led me to the conclusion that we have to do more than them in terms of turning Venezuela into a meme because it's such a ridiculous argument. It can't be anything other than a meme. It's, it's stupid. It's a meme. So, I like that they keep bringing up Venezuela, and we have to keep making fun of them for it, because anytime they mention Venezuela, just know they're only doing that because they're too afraid to address our actual arguments. Because if they say, nah, you don't really want to be like Denmark, the answer is yes, we do. And <laughs> people from Denmark will tell you, actually, you probably would want to be a lot more like us if, if you actually care about your people. So, um... This, this is great. I absolutely love what this Danish politician did. And Trish Reagan should be utterly embarrassed because she made a fool of herself. And if I were her, I'd never speak about socialism or Venezuela again after this. Support this podcast by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash humanist report.